We're ready again. Still waiting for you. Okay, so 15 is applying the continuity test. So it was at points due to at what points due to functionality. Uh, and exercise is a little hard for us. At what points are the functions in exercise 13 to 30 continuous? So on number 15, it is x plus 2 over x squared minus 7x plus 10. So I did this. So since this is a polynomial, I factored. So it's x squared. No, it's not x squared. Yeah. Yeah. That's number 15 on the Yeah. That's number 15 on mine. On ours, it's x plus 1 over x squared minus x plus 2. Well, since this is x squared, I mean 15 on mine. And this is the same exact condition, it's just the paperback. We'll worry, we'll worry about that later. Just do the do number 15 as it appears in your textbook. X plus two. I factored so it was x minus two and x minus five. So if you plug in two or five, so positive two or positive five, this whole thing would be zero. Like this whole denominator would be zero. So with that, that's zero. So at positive two and five, it is discontinuous. Continuous. On all real numbers except for positive two and positive five. Yeah. I agree with that. Um, it's a rash. Um, expanding on it a little. It's a rational function. So to be continuous, you need to be able to compute the limit by plugging in the number, and that's a property that all rational functions have, except when plugging in the number would give a division by zero. So we found the values where we would get a division by zero error, and we said, well, at that values, it's discontinuous. But other than that, rational functions are continuous everywhere. Yeah. 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 Yeah